morning, everyone. So today I don't have Desi with me. She's got a lot going on in her life. And um, so until she her vacation's over, she says, I am not going to be in your lives. I'm sorry. It's okay. We all have things in life that come up, right? So you can't be there. But whoever joins me this morning and watches this later, I want you to know I really appreciate all your support. You really mean a lot to me. And um, I'm getting higher in subscribers. So I've added a couple of moderators and filled them in on some things and um, to my channel. So they're watching all my comments on my newer videos and they're watching comments on my lives. They know who I want to hear from and who I don't and everything. So just for my protection. And um, so anyway, I'm just happy to have them. I'm happy to have somebody that is going to look out for me. And today's workout is going to be all about stretching and toning. And I decided to do January stretching routine live. And I'm sorry I didn't turn on music, so it's probably clicking right now. So just a second. It doesn't click um, whenever there's music. So I'm sorry about that. So I got it. There we go. But anyway, so what we're going to do today is going to be a stretching routine and so we're going to do this together and I want you to know good morning mom how are you this morning oh you changed I don't know how you did it but you changed your name to Betty Ernst good morning <laughs> I like it though so anybody you write who's gonna automatically tell them good morning I love it you're probably like, I don't even know how I did it. <laughs> it's cute. Well, it just does good. <laughs> but um, have some light weights. There's going to be a couple of moves we're going to be using light weights on. And otherwise, um, and that's about all you're going to need is something soft to lay on. And I made sure that my cat's made an appearance this morning. So we say good morning to Dickie and Grayson. I put some catnip down over here in this corner. If you haven't figured it out, so I'm both going a little nuts right now. That's why you see them rolling around and I feel like going to fall. <laughs> but I know you guys don't get to see my baby this often because lately I've been going out to my garage to do all my live workouts. And uh, I know some of you actually enjoy seeing them. So I wanted to make sure they made an appearance today. All right. So let's get started. All right. So first of all, I want you to stand here for me. Deep breath in. Let it all out. And to let you guys know, please, if you like this um, video, whatever you do, do not forget to hit that little red subscribe button, like, and comment on my videos. Check me out on my Facebook, my Instagram, and my TikTok, because I did forget to mention that in my intro. I am now 110, 105 subscribers away from 1,000. I just need 105 subscribers, guys. That's it. And I will hit a thousand subscribers um, my watch time is getting close to three thousand for watch hours so i'm going to be trying to do more impromptu lives and scheduled lives to get my watch time up because uh, that really helps a lot so i want you to go into a tree pose stance so one foot here and sometimes i get a little wobbly on this one myself you do prayer hands at the beginning that helps stabilize you and it's kind of funny to me. I just like put, put your hands together, but it's in, in yoga and stretching and workouts. So it is called, they call it prayer hands. That's the official term anyway. And 
turn it down. Oh, Dixie's got catnip in her nose. She's sneezing over there. Switch to the other side for me. Right here. And never mind, my leg goes. Um, sometimes the street pose gets me all. So what I do, here's a little trick. If you're having a hard time keeping your foot down like this because you can't keep your balance, I sometimes have a bad habit of being a bad person and doing it in an incorrect way. And I'll put my foot this way. Okay? Just a little suggestion. It gives you a better grip. And sometimes I have to do that. Bring it down and wide stance right here and stretch it. And give me a nice hold. Bring it all the way up onto your tiptoes and hold for me. Bring it down. I want you to go down into what is called the chair pose. So that means your knees are down here. Your hands are pointed towards the sky. I want your back lean straight and forward. And hold. Oh, my babies are so cute. All right. Now, while you're here, we're going to add a bit of a calorie burn to on to swing side to side. And hold. Take one foot to the side for a count of ten. Two and three. And ten. Bring it down for me and bring it up. Turn to the side. We're going to do something that is called sun salutation. I learned this playing um, actually <laughs> We Fit Plus and We Fit. You learn a lot of stretching and yoga poses. This is really cool. And uh, and what they do for you. So I love sun salutation. It's a fun move. So basically what you're going to do, I will show you. You're going to take it down right here. Okay. You slowly roll up and you lean back. And we'll hold it right here for 10 seconds. And then we're going to go back down and roll it up. Sun salutation is really great. We're stretching out here, stretching out through this part of your back, shoulders, and you you just feel it in a lot of different areas. So it's a really good overall stretch and toning move. So on the count of three, we will go do it and we'll do it three times together. So down, slowly roll it up, hold for 10 seconds, and then we'll go back down again. So five, four, Three, two, one. Give me a nice deep breath. Bring it down. You got this. Roll it up nice and slow for me. Bring it up. Bring it down. Roll it up. Nice and slow movements right here. Last time, bring it down and roll it up. All right, bring it back to the front for me. We're going to do what is called a pigeon move. I want your 
lay crossed like this. Okay. We're going to go down into like a sitting position with her hands in front. Me, sometimes I have the tendency to do this, to stabilize. Do whatever is comfortable for you. Help you keep your balance. Bring it up, take it down, one, and two, four, count of five, three, and four, and five. Bring it back down, other side, cross your leg again, same thing, bring it down, and hold. And up and down. One, two, okay, three, I see somebody. Four and five. Bring it up. Oh, thanks, Mom. I've been trying to get it a little more in the background, but I've been having this clicking sound on my camera, and now I'm going to add music all the time. Because when I have music with it, you don't hear the click. So it's really weird. So it's something to do with the settings on my camera. I don't know what it is. But I've been trying to play my music lower so people can hear me better. I've been working really hard on it. I want music to be there, but not so predominant. Um, okay. I love doing this. This is called Eagle Pulse. This is a lot of fun. And then we're going to go into a couple other things with it. As we do it, so you're gonna cross your hands here. So left hand in front of the right hand. And so we're going to go down. And when you come down, you're coming down to about right here. Reach your hands to the sky and look up for me. And make sure that back is nice and straight. You don't want it curved, you want it straight. Stomach pulled in nice and tight. Curving your back will cause injuries. You don't want to do that. Oh, can you guys see my cats? They're literally fighting with each other right now. <laughs> that fight. <laughs> oh, ow. See that, Dixie? She'll get them back. I would love for you guys to see her bulldozing because she does it all the time. Okay, right here. Go all the way down. And as close to your knees as you can. Again, try to keep that back straight. Look down towards the floor. And hold. Bring it up one foot behind and I want you to move down again like you did in pigeon by keeping your hands like this and hold we're working on balance and toning and flexibility today all in the same workout and bring it up okay Switching sides, switching hands. So, right goes in front and the left. Once again, I want you to come down, switch your hands up. You can't neglect the other side. You go on the left, and then you gotta do a right. Bring it down for me, right here. Again, bring it up, cross one leg behind. 
I'm telling you, this is a high burner. You can fill it in your thighs when you do this set of stretch moves together and hold. Get it up me. I'm doing really good. We're going to go into what is a dancer's pose. You see how good I do today with it. But basically, I want you to grab your foot. Either your left or your right, whichever you grab first, and you do the other side. And I want you to just take it out. Out, out, out. Stretch it. Right here and hold. This is called a dancer's pose. Bring it down nice and slow. And repeat, same thing. Other side, grab those toes. Stretch out and down. Right here. And do the things you're supposed to on the other side. And bring it in. And done. We think you got your camera in the mat. You're going to get yourself stepped on. I scared him. Okay, so now we're going to let to take our weights in our hands. We're going to do a few moves with the weights. And we're going to do what is called a tricep curl move. So basically, Gonna do this. Normally, you go down in this stance here and stabilize, or you go down in this stance here and stabilize. We're going to do a little something different with it because we're going to work out a thigh and our butt muscles as well as the triceps. So we're gonna do a combo move. I try trying to not to be afraid of them. So when people hear combos and they look at me like I'm crazy. Combo moves are great. So I want you to keep your elbows here, okay, and then you're going to go up and down, just like this. The up and down motion with your leg is what works out your butt muscles. It burns them up. You're cute. Okay, all the way out. Hold, 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 hold. And bring it down. Same thing on the other side. Make sure I want it being to be like your elbows are glued to your side. And up. And two. Let's go. Good morning. How are you? Okay, Paralyzed Living. I love this channel. This guy is an inspiration. You guys have to check his channel out, please. Okay, help him out. Um, he, um, he shows you how he gets up out of his wheelchair and he has these special braces he puts on his legs. And he walks across the floor with them, with them, two walking sticks. I know I'm not calling it the correct name, so I apologize. But he's amazing. He is definitely the epitome of showing you that you can live life no matter what you're dealing with and going through. And not to get discouraged. He's definitely an inspiration to me. And I feel like an inspiration to many others who actually take the time to check his channel out. Um because I love seeing people who have things like that and they don't ever give up. 
And that's what life is about. So please, please, please go give him a, <laughs> give him a look and check him out because he is a true inspiration. He's amazing. Awesome. Yay, good for you. I know that you probably like my chair workouts better than some of my other stuff because it's probably easier for you. And I really honestly need to get better about the limited mobility and wheelchair workouts and stuff like that. I'm going to try to start coming up with more of those things. Um, I got a lot of friends that could definitely use it, as, including you. Um, so awesome, awesome job. Circuit workouts are my favorite. Really are. Okay, so ready? I want everybody to take their way. Okay, so here's where it left off at. I watched it back. And so we're just going to add this little bit in. And I know where to add it to once I get the swing boarding done. So I want you to take it out for here and swing the weights up. Give me a nice hold. Make sure your weights are up like this. We're stretching our abs out. Bring it to the front and hold. And bring it one and two and three and four and five and stretch. Other side. Right here. Was my cat interrupted? And bring it down. Weights down on the ground. We're gonna do what is called a cactus pose. You went out and out. Thank you. You're gonna do what is called a cactus pose. So basically, your arms go back like this. Your chest is puffed out. You lean your head up to the sky and hold. Bring it down for me. Bring your weights back up. Okay. And now you're going to puff out into the cactus pose with the weights in your hand. But then you're going to come in, and two, and three, and four, and five. And then after this, we are going to the floor. Um, part of the workout. And I'm sorry you missed most of this, so I'm redoing it. So what we're going to do is go down into a downward facing dog right here and bring it all the way out into plank now you're going to bring it back up and bring it down you're going to keep inswarming in and out this works out your abs And hold and bring it back into downward facing dog right here and I want you to go down in swooping down into a cobra bring it back into the child's pose right here Bring it back into the downward facing dog. Bring it down to cobra again. Bring it up and hold. Bring it back to child's pose and hold.
Bring it back up into downward facing dog. This time we're going to do a dive. I want you to bring your head down to the floor into the dolphin pose. One leg up for 10 seconds. Another leg up for 10 seconds. Bring it down to your knees. Now, here's the last two that we did before the second section started. So I want you to lean it back, 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 slowly, slowly, or down towards you, touching your toes. Lean up and hold. Bring it down for me, right here. And I want you to lean all the way back. Come down onto your elbows right here and hold. Get your knees as close to the floor as you can. Just give me a nice hold. Right here, your feet should be up. And I want you to put your hands behind you like this. Now, you don't have to worry about going as high as I go. I just want you to try to lift your shoulders and your head off the ground. Okay, so push up in five, four, three, two, one, and hold. And reach down. You're going up into bridge. Give me a nice hold. Pull your stomach in. Pull your butt in right here. You want to pull them in like you're trying to squeeze them together like a pancake. That's how thin I want them to be. And give me one, two, swing, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine and 10. Give me a nice hold. Bring it down. Point your toes. Reverse plank. Look up to the sky and hold. Bring it in and out. In and out. And then it's the other side, same thing. Bring it in, up, in, up, in, and up. And there we go. That's what we did. And together and combining it. Let's try this again. I don't know how long my camera was out, so we're gonna do that move one more time. My camera shut off. I've never had my camera shut off in the middle of a workout before. So I have no idea. That's the weirdest thing that's ever happened to me that my camera shut down. So I don't know why it shut down, but it did. So here we go. I want you up straight into a pencil. Right here, hold it. We're gonna take off from where we left off at. Because I'm not sure where it stopped at. I just all of a sudden looked over and noticed my camera was off. Thanks, Lily, to somebody I know. They taught me how to screen record. So I'm going to screen record it and put it all together and then we'll delete both of these. And that's how we're going to do it. And bring it in and out. And when your knee coming in towards your forehead, keep looking towards your toes. Don't worry about looking at me. Just follow my voice. Lean into the forehead. We're working out our lower and mid abs right here. This is where you should feel it.
And I want you to bring it back for me, slowly. How far can you stretch? Can you touch your toes to the floor? You can, do it. Hold it, don't release it. I swear, usually I can go live with my camera for a long period of time. I've never had a child before, so that was really creepy. Anyway, first time for everything, right? I went through workouts and had trouble, but I'm not allowed to have a fit because this is supposed to be a relaxing workout. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to take it and stretch. Bring me over. We're going to look to the other side and hold. Then bring it in, over to the other side and hold. Bring it up for me nice and slow. This is, I usually don't have problems like this with YouTube or my camera. What the heck? My camera actually shut down. That's the weirdest thing ever. So, anyway, so down onto your knees, turn it to the side, one, one leg out right here, stretch it up and out and point that toe and hold. And bring it down and over and hold. All right, take it up and switch it out. Um, right here. And take it up. We're working our abs out right here. I'm going to splice this and the other video together so it'll all be in one. So that way you'll see it all. And I'll do it later. Take it to the side. I'm going to lose my live chat. Who cares? I know who came in and said hi to me. All right, so we'll take it up, stretch it out. Bring it up and turn it to the side. It's like 10 degrees outside, so I don't know if the weather has something to do with the fact that it's my my bike keeps going down and my camera's sitting on. I don't know. Hey, giant cat, the magnificent guy. Welcome, good to see you. I'm having a little problems today. My internet connection keeps going down, so that's why you're seeing two different lives. <laughs> I had to go back in. And then my connection was good, and then all of a sudden my camera shut off. I don't know if it had to do with the, something of a sensing that my Wi-Fi wasn't working or what, but I'm not letting it get me down because I just become tech savvy enough to learn how to um, uh, screen record. So what I'll do is I'll probably leave both of these up, and then I'll screen record them and splice them together so that people can watch the workout with no interruptions. This is so crazy. It happens. Tech is not always, you know, perfect, right? So take it to the side. You can do five times one. And two. And three. And four. 
in five. Bring it down. Okay. <laughs> I'm doing good. How about you? It's good to hear from you. <laughs> Thank you, right? At least it let me go back in. Okay, here we go. We're almost done with the workout. So I'll let you take it up right here. Legs crossed, right leg in front of the left leg or the opposite, whichever direction you want to go. We're going to do a little bit easier and a little bit harder. So I want you to take it and stretch it this way. Taking those legs crossed, I want you to get up and fold them under a little tighter, like this. Bring it down. Put your hand here. Give me a hold. This is actually called considered a pretzel move. And it's kind of cool. Bring it down. Let's go to the other side. Aw, thanks. Yeah, and it's cool that you have your two babies with you. My cats were in here at the beginning of the first part of my life eating catnip and fighting in the corner with <laughs> each other because it makes them hyper. <laughs> but you probably know that with owning cats yourself. So turn to the side for me right here at home. Bring it up. And tuck it under again. And then stand up straight, sort of, and then sit into it. And stretch and turn and hold. Bring it back. <laughs> Take it out. One leg behind you. We're doing a what's called a virgin, and it's also a good hip flexor move to spring and stretch all our hips. So I want you to stay right here for me at the beginning. And then if you have a hard time going down as far as I do, you will stay right here. Slowly roll it down. Put your head down on the floor of the mat and hold. Slowly roll it up. Right here. Come on, give me a heart shape. Run it to the side for me. Isn't that what we need more of kindness and love in the world, right? Give me that heart shape. Bring it down. Oh no. You get you know what? You only stretch into it as far as you can, and that's what I always tell everybody. Trust me, I wasn't the most flexible either when I started. I started doing these stretching routines regular on my channel, and I've become a lot more flexible. It just takes time and practice. Okay, so opposite leg in front, 
up as the lake starts to behind you. Right here and give me a nice hold. Bring it down. And up. Slowly again, turn to the side. Give me a heart shake if you can. This is hard. When I first started learning to do it this way, I was constantly um, losing my balance. If that makes you feel any better. All right. I want you to go down on your knees. I'm going to wait in front of you. And I want you to go all the way down, 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 down. And your nose facing towards the mat. Your hands and your toes are pointed behind you. I don't want you laying flat. I want you to lift it, your chest lift it up. I'm stretching out our back. And we're almost finished. Right here. Lean back if you have to. We're going to do what is called the Superman pose with the weight in our hand. So Superman is this. If you don't have a weight, you're going to hold it right here and bring it down. Okay? Your arms are stretched in front of you. This helps strengthen your back muscles. And hold, hold, hold. And down. Right here. And then get to the side. I'm going to go up into a cobra and we're slowly going to move them back up into a standing position together so stay with me i always when i do cobra i tend to do this i'm supposed to keep my legs right here i catch myself doing all the time and then i'm like what am i doing now i'm turning he said we're not example when i do that all right, slowly roll up. We're going into child's pose right here. Give me a nice hold. Slowly you come up onto your knees and when you're Feet curled under, your toes pointed down, and then to push yourself up into a downward facing dog. And once you walk your hands in nice and slow to your feet, slow, 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 slowly. Move up one vertebrae at a time. Right here for me. And you're in a standing position. Let's do one move, more move together because my internet connection went down and it started buffering. And so that move got interrupted. So just to make sure, because I feel bad. I don't know if you guys got that move. And I feel bad about it. So the cactus pose, we're going to do one more time. So I want you up here and make sure your arms are even and then pull it back and look up to the sky. This is a cactus pose. And then what I did next is I had you pick up your weights and then go back into that cactus pose right here and then bring it forward and back one 
and two. Working out those chest muscles. Three and four and five. So I did that just in case you missed it. Right here. We're all done. So at the end of all my workouts that I do live, we do breathing exercises to help uh, re-oxygenate um, our muscles. I never can say that word right, so I apologize. It always comes out all bit. Anyway, <laughs> um, because you need oxygen to your muscles to help them heal, to restore them, to help them grow stronger during the workouts. So, and also you need to have strong lungs because it helps you with your workouts. So we're going to do a ready breathing technique together and then we're completely done. I will work on splicing this together sometime today, tomorrow, I'll get it fixed. So I'm sorry about all the interruptions, my camera going down, my Wi-Fi. For some reason, maybe I wasn't meant to do this workout today, but I still did it and I did it with a smile. So are we ready? Breathing exercises, easy. You inhale for 10 seconds. You hold it for four, you exhale it for 10. You do it three times and it helps each time that you do it, you'll notice you're getting deeper into your lungs. So you're all the way down into your lower chest for your third try. Okay, because we we'll do it three times. So everybody ready for me? Five, four, three, two, one. Here we go, ready? Time two. Time three. did it. So everyone who sees this and joins me later, I'm sorry that you have to see this workout in two parts. It was not my fault. YouTube and my Wi-Fi and my camera decided to play games with me. I don't know if my connection got unstable again and just maybe um, YouTube just completely shut me off for a second and that's why my camera all of a sudden shut off and it sensed it so it just automatically shut off. I don't know. It was just really weird so I had to redo <laughs> do from where I was at and um, take you guys to the last part and I will splice it together I promise so that the workout will be on one smooth transition instead of in pieces so you don't have to go from one video to the next um, until I get it fixed you will have to and I'm so sorry I didn't do this to you guys on purpose I promise I don't know what my wife I was doing today um, anyway it is 10 degrees outside so who knows maybe it has to do with cold weather win i don't know but anyway thank you everybody i love all of you i enjoy having every single one of you on my channel i enjoy all my subscribers and my viewers and i really appreciate all of your support i'm about 110 away from being at a thousand subscribers and i've been doing this almost two years now well a little over two years now and when I started out, I had eight subscribers. So that will tell you how far I've come. Um, I never thought I'd reach 100. You guys proved me wrong. Let's just put it that way. Because I'm, I'm approaching 1,000. So thank you so much for joining me today. Um, I really appreciate everyone who came in. And I'm sorry for all the interruptions. Um, for anyone who watches the second part later, I'm really sorry. Um, but I did give out shout outs to all of you when you came and said hi in both of them. When I get them spliced together, no, I chat probably won't be there. I could and I might wait until uh, all of it has been recalibrated by YouTube and then splice it together. And then that way, maybe the light chat will show and then everybody can see it along with the workout. So have a wonderful, wonderful day. I hope this inspires you, motivates you, and gets you ready and up for whatever you have to face today. 
have a wonderful day. Thank you so much for being there for me and supporting me today. You too, Jive Cat. Thank you so much for coming in. And anyone who doesn't know who Jive Cat is, before I close down, um, go check him out. Jive Cat the Magnificent is the name of his channel. And he just recently discovered me through his YouTube feed. And he is um, also like me. He likes to teach people workouts and give people workout tips and ideas. So make sure you're checking him out. Hi, Natalie. Oh, my God, girl. You missed all that, all the commotion. First, my internet connection became unstable. And I buffered for five minutes. Then I was doing a move and all of a sudden my camera stopped. And then I had to re-go back in. So that's why there's two spots. But Natalie, thank you so much. You helped me become more tech savvy. This girl teaches me stuff about tech that I don't know. And she taught me how to screen record. So I won't have to redo the workout by doing the I'm physically doing the workout and recording on my tablet. I just will need to go through and screen record it. And I'll have it in one, one, one set for everybody. So have a wonderful day, everyone.